Hello, welcome to yet another series. For this clip, we shall discuss the first of the 10 elements, which is the wood element, the yang wood, which is also known as jia wood. Now, to actually understand a person's natal chart, to understand a person's element, first, you will need to know how to plot the natal chart according to the version of Ch Chinese metaphysics. Now to do so, please do visit this website prepared by Dr. Joey Yap. You can look at the website here and please feel free to register yourself as a new user if you have not done so. And for myself, I have already registered myself, so I shall just log in here. Okay, and once you do that, explore. You can now try to explore the a person that you like to analyze. Let's say if I were to go for Elon Musk and male, the Elon Musk it was born on 1971. So I shall look for that. No, let's just go for that. And in the month of June and 28. Now, it would be great or crucial to understand the time of birth in order to get the complete natal chart. But as we are trying to look at the natal chart of a celebrity or a well-known person of a public person which, to which I wouldn't know, then you shall have no choice but to clip the time of birth unknown. And then all you need to do is to plot the Patsy chart. And to do so then, voila, you will then have the chart being plotted for you free of charge. And if you would like to, have, to learn further, you can always approach the website and and now here you can look at the chart that is printed that is being displayed on the screen feel free to print it out if you would like to that's what i normally would do and then once i would print it out and once you have the chart then you're good to go now please take a look at the natal chart and what is crucial is and here we can observe that the day master is Jia Wood. Now there are many things to unpack here, but let's just focus on the natal chart. Now the name Pak Ji basically means eight characters in Chinese. I spoke Cantonese just now. Now the eight characters would be namely based on the four pillars and the pillars are namely the year so this captures the character uh, based on the year that you are born to which many of us would know and so this person is born in the year of the pig so you can just see here a pig and born in the year of the metal pig 1971 and born in the month of the husk, which is the jia wu, which is the yang wood, yang fire horse, and born on the day, the day of the monkey. And here, the person's time of birth is unknown. So now we have missed out a crucial component for his natal chart. And this session will continue with this because our main focus, as we normally start, is the heaven stem the heavenly stem and as well as the earthly branches and the hidden steps so we will start with the day master so when we look into a little chart the pivotal point is the heavenly stem of the day known as the day master so in short the day master is you and so as we look into this little chart this person is known to be a Jia Wood person. Sometimes we just say a Yang Wood Day Master or Yang Wood person. So that would be the starting point of this analysis. And not only that, we do come to understand that there are 12 zodiac animals. And out of the 12, 6 of them belongs to the Yang family or group and the other 6 to the Yin. Now, Jia is a yang wood element and so it will sit on an earthly branch that will also be yang and so 
all yang heavily stem will also find a yang earthly branch. Likewise, yin for yin, the same. So in this context, they are not just one jia day master, they are then six jia day master. So in this session, this is what we will uh, go through the six types of jia wood. Now before we do that, let us just look into let us now look into what does jia wood represents. To look into the jia wood, one has to imagine or one has to picture in your mind that yang wood can be can be in a form understood to mean a big tall tree. So any trees with trunks will then be associated with this symbol yang wood. Now if it is a small plant or a herb or plants without any trunk then that would be the yi day master. Now jia wood is the first of the ten elements and so in many occasions jia wood is also associated with being the first, being the leader and therefore the symbolism of a tall tree here would also mean a leader or a king. So therefore Jia Wood is known for its bam novelance. Now try to imagine a tree. A tree provides shelter to all living beings under its uh, so-called uh, care if you like. So you find that a tree provides shelter for birds, provides shelter for other plants, and it provides nurture. And Jia Wood, or wood element, is the only element of the five elements which is organic. Therefore, when we look into the symbol for Jia Wood, we can also see that it may represent people. Now, the one thing I tend to remember or associate Jia Wood with is the thick box that covers or protect the tree therefore usually when we look into a jia wood person the character tends to be strong sturdy and strong and sturdy could also mean stubborn now a jia wood person needs patience so when you deal with a jia wood person especially for parents or anyone who have to deal with uh, young Jia Wood children, please be patient with them because they tend to learn at a slower pace than others. They are smart, no doubt. Why are they smart? Because the resource for wood is water. And so, and water symbolizes wisdom. So the resource of a Jia is wisdom. And so, with that in mind, Jia Wood can be intelligent, smart, and the chart that we saw was Elon Musk. And other famous Jia Wood person includes Napoleon Bonaparte, Richard Branson, Nikola Tesla, Ralph Lauren. And so there are many scientists, engineers who are Jia Wood person. They are smart, they are clever, but do remember that they might not give you the impression when they are young. And the one thing about Chia Wood is loyalty and benevolence. So if Chia Wood is favorable in your chart, if it is all the right elements, it will then be a person that is kind, a person that manifests strong leadership, and one that you would like to possibly bend the knee as a king. Because here, we also find that the nature of Jia Wood is the roots. So wood uh, or trees, uh, as they grow vertically up into the heavens, their roots spread horizontally across the earth. Therefore, Jia Wood has very strong networking ability and they provide support for all. Come, let's take a look into what Jia Wood would represent. They are straight and principled. Ah, but one thing that one has to remember or to be conscious with. I did mention about leadership. I did mention about kingship. But in a way, 
Jawud has to be careful of that because we should sometimes understood or understand no? an old saying, the tallest tree gets chopped first. And so, if a Jawud doesn't have the right elements to take leadership role, it doesn't uh, has rootings in a little chart, then perhaps the advice is do not aspire to be number one. Because the moment a Yang would becomes number one in a corporation, uh, it may then face the excess. So Chawood takes a long time to get used to a job. They are slower to adapt. And Chawood is excellent to be a middle manager because they can really take a great deal of rejection, abuses, and they are good for jobs which are persistent, stubbornness and jobs which are repetitive mundane would be also something that they might be able to do and so now let's take a look into how chia wood uh, mixes with all the elements as we go along now the descriptions for chia wood here i will not read the uh, the entire sentences here or statements but I'll just uh, go through very quickly. You can freeze the screen, pause it if you like. The element for Jia is strong in the months of spring. And do bear in mind that we, when we refer to spring, we refer to the elements of tiger in the zodiac animal, rabbit and dragon. So whenever you see these three animals, rabbit, dragon and tiger you would then be reminded that these are the months that denote spring now if we can just go back to the case for this person this jawood person is born in the month of the horse and horse represents summer and so in the months of summer the wood is weak and so we need to look at how we can perform grading and to grade the strength of the Jia wood. That would be how one can refer to. So when born in autumn, the wood is exhausted and the wood is trapped. Therefore, we can say that a Jia wood prosper in spring, weakens in summer, and date or trapped in the month of autumn and when it comes to winter uh, Jawood will also be dead and I'm sure many of us would know how trees would look like during the winter months right. and so Jawood now of all the elements tends to be in a way the most needy ones a tree has many needs and so likewise a Jawood tends to look for people to help them. If you observe a young Jawood child, chances are a popular phrase the person might say is, who can help me? Because here, the person needs the support of many. Jawood likes the sunlight, for sure. Therefore, a Jawood day master would welcome the yang fire or the pink fire because sunlight provides the right nutrients or the energy for a chia wood to grow and in the 10 gods series you'll come to learn that pink fire or yang fire represents the eating god star and eating god star would mean a star that provides creativity for the chia day master now all trees need water to nourish and the most appropriate type of water would be the yin water. And the yin water or the kui water, the rain water represents direct resource. And so a jia wood uh, would, be, would be strengthened upon receiving water which also means the thirst for knowledge 
the thirst for information, therefore making Chia very knowledgeable, making them wise as they mature. And needless to say, Chia would need the Chi earth, the mother nature, the fertile soil. And that also represents direct wealth. And so yes, Chia would, if prosperous, would have the ability to make money and to be amongst the richest in the world. Now, here comes the requirement. A tree becomes useful when a tree is primed, chopped, or fashioned. So therefore, Chia Wood needs to feel pain in order to be successful. The mantra of no pain, no gain would be amongst it. So Chia Wood would welcome or needs some trimming. Therefore, to them, they might need to see metal. So one can say that Chia Wood needs to be cut in order to be useful. And so, and the type of order or authority that the Chia Wood would welcome is the Yang metal, the Keng metal, to which represents the seven killing, which also denotes ambitions and goals. So the Chia needs motivation to progress further. And so, if you do have a Chia Wood child, do remember that the person would need to be pushed and pushed very often. The person is a slow learner, the person is stubborn, and so the person will need the motivation, and then don't worry, they can be pushed. But if the wood is wet, the wood is sensitive, the person can be emotional. So handle with care as we, uh, as we go along. Alright, the characteristics of Chia would be leadership. Therefore, one can expect uh, Chia Wood to manifest leadership. The physical trait, of course, would be tall. We would like to see a tall Chia Wood. Uh, if the person is born short and stumpy, then we might come to discover that this might not be the best Chia Wood after all. Right, and now let's take a look into the six types of Chia Wood. The first is to look into the wood red, huh? the wood red or Chia Zi, which is the pillar that is often understood to mean that it is not rooted. So imagine a tree sitting on water, a tree sitting on, uh, not on soil. And therefore here we do find uh, that the Chia Zi is considered to be one which have soaked with water. And so here we do see that Chia Zi can, is one that sits on resources, ones that takes the, uh, takes the view that they can be a person who then sell knowledge for money. So they make good trainers, lecturers, educators. But one has to be careful, they don't like to meet the wood horse. And to consider that Chia Chi may not have fantastic marital relations because they can find that resource represents mother and mother is in the spouse palace. So that may not bode very well for some uh, Chia Wood males especially. Right. And so Chia Chi are creative people because they sit on resources, they sit on water. However, they tend to be rootless. Uh, and a tree needs to be rooted for it to be strong. And so without the proper rooting, then it may be a danger that a Chia Chi may be a floating wood. No? And floating wood will then be a problem when wood have too much water, they become unrooted, they lead a nomadic life, they travel all over the places. And there is of course a phrase that says, rolling stones gather no moss. And then Chia may be one of them. Now, Chia Yin would then be the wood tiger. This would be wood sitting on wood. And too much wood makes a person stubborn. 
too much wood makes the person tough. And so Jia Yin would be considered to be the most stable, toughest and conservative of all the trees. Jia Yin is very talented because tiger is part of the fire trinity. The fire trinity, the Yin Wu Shi, would also be known as the tiger, the dog and the horse. Therefore, the tiger, horse and dog combination will be the fire combination. And fire is what a wood produce. Therefore, Jia Yin is very talented because they can pull in their output resources, make them excellent uh, actors and performers and creative uh, person. But the thing, of course, is we do consider females. Females Jia Yin would consider themselves difficult to find a husband or a partner in life because the tiger repels the Kung metal and Kung metal symbolizes the husband or the partner star for the female. Therefore, uh, Jia Yin ladies may have a bit more difficulty in looking for a life partner. Right. So Jia Yin is the toughest of all the 60 charges. Therefore, that would be something that we could recall ourselves. And so they need to understand that being stubborn tends to repel people and they might find themselves being lonely. But the, but the symbols of charge also means that this element is one that expect to have longer life mortality. Now, as we move on to Jia Chen, which is the wood dragon. Now, wood dragon is auspicious. Wood dragon, when meeting pink fire and kung fire, indicates wealth and fame. And Jia Chen tends to be, if you can imagine, a tree, a tree like a pine, it's watery. Therefore, uh, it, it has this nobility, has, it sits on its wealth, it sits on resources, and it sits on rock wealth. It could be quite benevolent as it is, tends to be the life of the party. So Jia Chen, water, uh, not water, sorry, wood uh, dragon can be represented on a growing tree. Right, and based on ancient text, we now move on to Jia, the wood horse. Now wood horse sits on fire. And when one sits on fire, one sits on output, one has a strong, courageous, very imposing character. And the spouse is fire. Therefore, uh, we consider a childhood male may marry short-tempered, impatient wives. But then, uh, a child would, would have a harmonious wedding uh, or a marriage. Uh, sorry, not wedding, but marriage. Uh, but consider that uh, they can be they have the patience for that. Now so childhood is that tree that sparks fire in the world. It is it fears water, it welcomes more fire, wood and metal. And childhood tends to be one that manifests strong leadership as they have the tendency to inspire people. And if they don't inspire people, the ancient text would say that this is then a dying tree. The one thing about Jia Wu is that they can be sacrificial. They would be willing to die for a good cause because has fire engulfed and, uh, and uses up the wood as it burns. Therefore, Jia Wu is sacrificial. So it is also wood used for construction. It becomes a very useful tool. And so 
a Jawu person, if they do see dragons and pigs, this person will be prosperous. Right. And so Jawu can be very dedicated artists as they are willing to die for their art. They are self-sacrificing. They'll go great length to help people. They are very, very independent. And, and these people are comfortable if they do not have children. Chia Shi is then the wood dog. Now, wood dog has the image of a lonely tree perched on a dry mountain. Loneliness comes to mind. Illnesses may be a challenge as dog carries an illness within them. And relationship could be quite an issue, more of a challenge. However, their main strength, being a Jia Shi, is that they are great survivors. They are able to uh, they are able to be tough in their environment because in a way uh, for a tree to survive under such harsh condition uh, would be part of their elements. So it would be great of course for a Jashi to avoid punishments and clash for them uh, they might live quite difficult uh, hard life for them. So sometimes Jia Shi may refer to dead roots, which also means the inability to hold money. Uh, what are they good at? They're good at using information, great at networking, great communicators, very good at motivating people and to strategize. And so their main strength is to be a people connector. So that's the Chia Shi for you. And Chia Shen is one that manifests leadership but through fear. Chia Shen is metal, uh, is monkey. Uh, so therefore Chia Shen represents the wood monkey. The wood monkey represents tree that has been chopped down, falls into the water. And so, it welcomes water it well and it definitely will be an element that would welcome fire and so uh, if Jiaxun sees fire it will be productive so this is wood that has been processed wood that has already been chopped therefore it is quite self-sacrificing as well and of all the six types of jia, jia shen will be the most useful of them. Because a wood that has already been chopped, a wood that has already been cut, is a wood that has become equipment, weapons, furniture. And so they may find prosperity when they meet fire, when they meet water.